In this series, The World's Most Dangerous Snakes, I expand on an idea first introduced by wildlife presenter Nigel Marvin as I count down what I believe to be the 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. We look at four rating factors. Number one, venom toxicity. Two, proximity to people. Three, personality. And four, a special category known as the X Factor. Each snake is given a score out of 10 for each category. The scores are then combined to reach a total out of 40 and the snakes are rated based on that overall score. So here's our list so far. In 10th place, the Chinese sharp-nosed viper, also known as the 100 pacer. In 9th place, the spectacled or Indian cobra. 8th place, we're in Africa for the puff adder. In 7th place, my favorite snake in the world, the king cobra. In 6th place, the Russell's viper. In 5th place, the snake that claims more lives in the whole of South America than any other, the lance head. 4th place, the killer of all killers, the snake that kills more people throughout the world than any other, the saw scaled viper. In third place, the coastal and the PNG tarpan from Australasia. In second place, we go to West Africa for the West African forest cobra. And in first place, here we go. Hello guys, Dingo here, and finally it's arrived. It feels like an eternity since we've started counting down the 10 most dangerous snakes in the world. We started right off months ago now with the 100 pacer. We've gone through all the different continents and we've got down here to our number one. It's a snake that puts the fear of God inside the bones of every person who's ever worked with them. They are magnificent. They are the athletes of the snake kingdom. And I've got a big, beautiful one right here in this box. We're at Croc World here today in Scottborough on the KwaZulu-Natal South Coast. And this is one of their captive snakes that's been here for over six years. But as I open up this box, you're gonna notice it doesn't act like a normal captive snake. It's a spectacular big, it's three meters long and it means business. Here we go. You would have already guessed probably what it is but I have no idea what's gonna happen when we open this box. It might lie there for a few seconds. It might come straight out. Let's get going. It's twitching around. I can see a bit of it. Woo! It's big, it's big. Had a peek at me there. Where are you? It's moving, it's moving, coming out. Head up, head down. Head up, and up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, someone move the box, please. Here we go! Woo! Alright. Let's move this snake over here. He's trying to get to the bush behind me. So right now, what I'm trying to do is focus as much as possible. Look at that. Go right at me. Just calm down there, big guy. You just calm down there. And get you away from this bush. There we go. And I tell you what, watch the snake, he'll come at me soon. All right, let's just calm down. If you just move him around a little bit. How's that for an introduction to our number one most dangerous snake in the world, the infamous Black Mamba. I absolutely, absolutely love these snakes. You see they have pivots off. It's even pinning itself in the mouth from trying to bite me. And it's giving its growl, its hiss. Put you out here, it's gonna come back here. Just wanna swing him around. Woo -hoo -hoo! He's feisty today. Fortunately, we've got some length on him. Let's try to spin you around, big guy. If we can have, James, if you can come in there, keep for me. Just distract the snake, he's trying to get at me. You need teamwork when you're working with an animal like this. So I've just got James moving around behind the camera so that he can keep his attention there. Because right now, what's happening? By me holding the tail, the snake can leverage and just come straight at me. It uses it.
Aren't you? Magnificent. Magnificent. Cameraman just squirted in his pants there. Now what you'll notice is a little bit of blood in his mouth. The reason for that, I haven't touched his mouth. The reason for that is he's been so keen on biting me, he's bitten his own lip. Won't cause him any damage, any harm, any danger. In fact, all these snakes, they are immune to, oh, strike on the camera. They're immune to their own venom. So no problem with biting themselves. Whew. I'm just gonna pull him out of the bush a little bit. Here. It's a bit too close to the bush. He might swing around at me now. Yeah, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on. Let's see what you're gonna do here. Come on, come say hello. Here we go. Come on, come back here. Who cares about our 10 factors? This look, I mean, you can see why he's number one. No playing games here. But Black Mamba, and actually, as I'm working him out here, he's one of the most intelligent snakes I've ever worked with. You'll notice here, his focus was on the camera until I dropped my knee. As I dropped my knee, he moved his head around. So he's watching me, watch here. I'll come here, his focus is there. I dropped my knee next to the camera, look at his eye. He's watching us. And a little touch like this. Look at him, he's getting ready. He's getting ready, come on big boy. Look how high he can stand up. And a mamba like this. A mamba like this can stand up to about chest height. In fact, a lot of black mamba bites on the chest area of a person. Because they're such big snakes, the second longest venomous snake on the world reaching a maximum, a record of 4.5 meters. That's a huge snake. He doesn't calm down yet. What I'm trying to do is just tire him out a little bit. Come on, big guy. Let me just spin you around. We'll get onto our categories in a moment. I just want to get better control of the snake. James, can you come in close next to Dusty to get action that way? And you see there, as I dropped my knee, started looking sideways at me. Whoo! I tell you what, I'm tired. Now, what you might be able to hear. Did you hear that? It's the hiss of the black mamba. I'm watching his body language here. Look what he's doing with his body. He's gonna come at me. I can see you. I can see you. And I'm gonna catch him midair with the hook as he comes. He's pivoting off my hand now. That's what I want to see, head going down. But as I say, I've probably moved 10 meters and I'm sweating. I'm sweating like a gypsy with the mortgage. All over the place here. And these snakes command the utmost respect. I have more respect for this animal than any other snake on the planet. Any other snake. Oh, look what he's doing now. He's pulling my arm in. No, 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 no. Just relax, my boy. Let me just look at that. And you'll see the hood. A lot of people don't know that mamas have got hoods. they got hoods, all right? He's been showing his hood for the last 10 minutes or so. And he's trying to corner me. You spin him around here. And, oh, get away from the bush, my big boy. I'm just going to swing him around a bit. Let's get into our rating categories while we can. Our first category, we're talking toxicity of venom. And many people think the top 10 most venomous snakes are all from Australia. That's just actually old thought. The Black Mamba is actually the fifth most toxic snake on the planet. And when it comes to the top 10 out of the 600 venomous snakes in the world, this is number five in terms of toxicity. But it's not just the toxicity of the venom. It's in quick, it is incredibly fast acting venom. So for some reason, this venom immobilizes the prey or the victim incredibly quickly. When I was bitten in 2003 by a black mamba, 
I had instant pins and needles going through my face within five seconds of the bite. The mamba was smaller than this big boy. Okay, that, eh? She sees my arm move. I had pins and needles coming up my feet, coming down my hands, and within 10 minutes, I couldn't walk, and I needed to be ventilated. It was such an emergency that they shoved that ventilator down my throat. It felt like a garden fork going down. Really painful. I had pieces of, of tissue coming up out of my esophagus for months afterwards. It's a really fast acting venom and they've got a huge dose of it. So a mamba this size will give you 400 milligrams of venom. 400 milligrams of venom in one bite. 14 of which can kill an adult human being. So a snake like this, it'll kill 20, 30 people, no problem. It's not as much as the inland taipan or the eastern brown or the coastal taipan, but it gives you a lot more venom. It's very quick acting and these snakes bite repeatedly. So if I came close now, it wouldn't bite me once. Once, two, three, four, have it shot forward now. Just hold my hook in case it does. It would come past me, bite me three times as it moves forward. So when it comes to toxicity of venom, any snake in the top 10 of the snakes in the world, I have to give a big 10 out of 10. And that brings us onto our second category. And that's the proximity to people that these snakes come in. How often do these snakes come across people? And anywhere under sub-Saharan Africa, you're gonna find black mambas. They're common. And unfortunately, they're not just common in the bush. They're common in the bush. Oh, as I dip my knee, did you see that? As my knee touches the ground, watch here. As I go down, he thinks he has an opportunity. He's a thinking snake. Come across very few snakes in the world thinking like this. You know I love king cobras. And the king cobras will think. But this black mamba knows what he's doing. Here I'm far away from him. If I come here, watch him. As I drop this knee here. You see how his head just slowly moves like that? He's watching me. If I touch him here. There we go. I know big boy. So when we're talking proximity to human beings, this snake, it's right up there with the best. Found throughout rural Africa, coming into people's homes. They'll eat birds, they'll eat rats and mice, even dussies, rock rabbits. These guys will eat them. Mongoose, this guy, he'll kill a mongoose. It'll be a hell of a fight. But I've seen black mamas take out mongoose before and eat them. Incredible, incredible snakes. So in the category, proximity to human beings, Every single year, people are dying from black mama bats throughout Africa. Lots of people, tens, hundreds of people dying from black mama bats. So I give the black mamba a big eight out of 10 for proximity to human beings. of the snake and as you saw there he went for the old two meat and veg he went straight for my <sighs> by far the crankiest snake and the most dangerous snake on the planet and as you saw there all I did was try to put the hook by his neck he's coming at me again now I'm, I'm waiting for you I'm waiting for you big boy it's okay you're gonna come at me aren't you now these snakes, a lot of people will say that snakes aren't aggressive and most snakes aren't. Most are pretty defensive. But I've heard other people say black mamas are hyper defensive. We're inventing words now to change the obvious. These snakes can be defensive. They can also be incredible. 
incredibly aggressive. This snake will come at you, no problem about it. I've had snakes, black mamas chase me all over the place, in rooms, outdoor, wherever they can, they chase me. And you can see the concentration I'm using right now to just keep the snake where I want it. As I drop my knee, it's looking at me. It wants to have a bite of the old dingo. Not today, my friend, not today. And hopefully not ever. Woo. So when it comes to the personality of these snakes, I can give the snake nothing but a perfect score of 10 out of 10. And that brings us onto our final category, the X Factor. This is the category where I give extra points to snakes that have extra characteristics about them that don't necessarily fit into our first three categories. And with the Black Mamba, there's almost too many to number. Firstly, they're the second longest venomous snake in the world. That's right, just behind the King Cobra. Huge snakes, 4.5 meters. This is a three meter snake. And it's absolutely terrifying. Secondly, they're the world's quickest snake, moving up to 16 kilometers or 10 miles an hour. Very, very fast snakes, super fast snakes. Absolutely electric. So when a snake this long and this fast comes at you, it's terrifying. Really, you just, you have to relook at things, relook at your life and think, what are you doing? But at the same time, you just have adrenaline surging through your body and makes you come alive. The how after this, when I come down from this, I'm just pumped the whole day, working with one of the most dangerous animals, let alone snakes in the world. And lastly, when it comes to the X Factor, not only is it quick, not only is it big, it's aggressive, super toxic venom, and it bites repeatedly, and it's found throughout the whole of Africa where people live. And that's why for the X Factor, I have to give the Black Mamba a massive 10 out of 10. And guys, that takes the total for the Black Mamba to a massive 38 out of 40. And as you can see, look at the black inside its mouth. Don't worry about a little bit of blood. That's just where he bit himself earlier. The infamous Black Mamba, the most dangerous snake in the world on my list. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Dingo out.